Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Damaris here. So today I'm bringing to you guys this challenge um, that I was asked to do. It was a Dollar Tree um, makeup look. So I did accomplish this look using only items found at my local Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree actually has some good stuff, but if you guys are interested to see how I got my look, just continue to watch. Alright guys, let's start with these um, two LA Color Brow Pencils. They're brow pencils and eyeliners as well. This is in the color dark brown and I'm going to be using this to uh, shade in my brows. And I'm trying to keep a light hand on the brush, um, on the pencil, I'm sorry, because it is a pencil and I'm used to using a pomade for my brows. So I am going to fill it in. So far it looks okay. Um, it was kind of hard because I didn't have a spoolie um, to do them, so... I did attempt to use a brush, um, like an eyeshadow brush, but it was extremely too soft to blend them out, but I think they look okay. So now to clean them up, I'm going to use the Come Correct Concealer. This is from the Fergie Collection as well from the Dollar Tree. Um, they do still sell them um, at, uh, like Walgreens has them regular price. Um, and some Dollar Tree still carry them. I've been looking for them and I can't find them. Only because this is the first time that I tried it and I've been using it every single day to clean up my brows and also blend it down onto my eyelid. This is what I use as my primer slash base for my eyeshadows and I love it. I'm upset I can't find any more but I'm sure I can get them regular price at Walgreens. Then using this Color Mates eyeshadow palette guys. Every time I go to Dollar Tree I see them and I never pick it up because you know you see things at the dollar store sometimes you think they don't work but the eyeshadow in this palette is really really good so I started off with the white brush I'm sorry the white shadow and I applied it underneath of my brows using a angle defining brush by elf also found at Dollar Tree and I'm just applying that very lightly underneath of my brows next I'm going to be going in with that shade there and I'm going to be applying that shade with a wet and wild fluffy blending brush another great find at Dollar Tree um, they're usually 99 cents anyway if you find them at Walgreens um, but if you find them at your Dollar Tree you know you're just spending a penny more because they're a dollar but they're they are amazing I have quite a few of these brushes and they work really good and the one I'm showing here is the one by um, elf another great find it's a dollar but it works very very well and I'm just using that fluffy brush and just blending out that shade I did start at the outer corner of my eye and I'm just blending it out depositing the majority of the color to the outer part of my eye and then blending in to the inner corner of my eye try not to bring a whole lot of the product just basically packing it on the outer part and then just dragging a little bit whatever's left on the brush to the inner part Now I'm going to pick up the shade in the middle and I'm going to take that one with a more like a fluffy shadow brush as well from the Wet n Wild collection and I'm just going to be packing that to the middle part of my eyelid only. Now I'm going to be taking that elf brush and I'm going to be pick up this dark shade here and I'm going to pack that to the outer uh, portion of my eyelid basically in the corner of my eyelid and you'll see I'll start bringing it into my crease just darkening that um, outer part and just a tad bit in the crease and I'll make it extremely dark if you see I'm packing it first and then I'll drag the color into the crease a little bit gonna be going in with that darker shade again the darker like berry shade and just blending in the two shades you don't want there to be like a division between the shades you want everything to blend in together here I'm attempting to use that same pencil that I used on my brow as a liner but it was really hard so here I'm trying to like warm it up on my hand to see if it's easier and I made some kind of you know little line the best that I could Now I'm using the same color to um, attempt to put it on my lower lash line and my uh, waterline. 
it was kind of hard because the pencil is not soft at all it's a really hard pencil it worked really well for the brows but not as well for my waterline here I'm using the wet and wild mega wear mascara and I'm really not fond of this mascara I felt like the brush was okay but I felt like it was picking up way too much product because I felt like my lashes were so wet like it was dispersing a lot of product to my lashes and I didn't like it you see here I'm using the same concealer that I use for my brows which is the come correct concealer from the Fergie line and here I'm just trying to brighten up underneath of my eyes here both eyes are done here I'm using this BB cream and they really didn't have a big selection of products to put on your face and guys this was a struggle um, this is by sassy and chic and I picked up the shade light and when you see how white this is oh my gosh it was so hard I wanted to cry I was like I don't know how I'm gonna put this on my face look how white it is I'm gonna swatch it on my hand and you'll see how pale that is that is definitely not my complexion I was trying to figure out and look around what I had that I purchased at the Dollar Tree that I can possibly mix so I decided to scrape some of that shadow and place it in there and mix it up to try and make it look a little better but you'll see in a few minutes how I was looking just like my face is I was just like scared and I was like this is gonna look crazy but I guess it's part of the challenge um, this was definitely a tough challenge but kind of easy because you do find good products sometimes that did um, darken it up a little bit but it's still extremely white for my face my husband after the finished look my husband said I looked hideous I'm just using this fat uh, flat top kabuki brush and that is by elf I'm sorry flat top blush brush and you see her I'm trying to blend it the best that I could this is an amazing brush I do love the brush but the product that I'm trying to blend in is obviously horrible my face looks extremely ghostly you can still see all of my imperfections um, all of my acne scars it just made me look extremely white and pale Now I'm going to use that middle shade and I attempted to bronze up just to bring my face some color just to bring some more life to my face because I felt like I was looking extremely white and just extremely pale. I was looking a little sick if, to be honest with you. So I'm trying to just bring some more color and I think it kind of helped a little bit. I also did not have a um, setting powder so my face is extremely shiny my forehead looks really greasy here I'm using blush with radiance by um, the Fergie collection as well um, with a blush brush from wet and wild and I'm sorry by elf and you can see the br the blush is extremely pigmented so I'm trying to blow off some of the product and just place that on my cheeks and of course the blush did help as well to bring some life back to my face now for highlight, I'm using, I know it's a center stage collection, and I can't remember, um, Hollywood Boulevard is the name of this highlight, and this is an amazing highlight. Again, um, you find really good products sometimes at Dollar Tree. Uh, my Dollar Tree actually had, I think they were discontinued, I don't know if they're going to discontinue it, which I don't think so because Walgreens still carries the Furry collection. Um, but anyway, my Dollar Tree was carrying a whole bunch of Fergie stuff and I decided to pick up a bunch of stuff. I even sent some away to girls that um, didn't have it in their area. But these highlights here, they're amazing. They're really good. Now guys, for the lips, I didn't have a big option because they didn't have a big option there. So I'm using the same brown 
liner that I used for my eyebrows and my eyes and I'm just trying to come up with some kind of something for my lips so I just lined my lips with the brown liner and I'm going to um, fill them in with the same pencil on the outer corners and then you'll see me smack my lips together to blend them in a little bit um, and the video was cut off but I thank you guys so much for watching I added some gloss and that was it to the video